What up, pimps? It's your boy with the fourth episode of Zero to Hero, which was a Street Fighter series that we made years ago that didn't really go anywhere. In case you didn't know, Emma, who's not involved in this anymore because she's not allowed, she was well, she wanted to be good at Street Fighter V and she learned to play using an arcade stick. She didn't really get anywhere with the series, like she only got into bronze. Bronze, bronze is fine, but like you can't really compete against people that play the game, even like somewhat competitively. After the series ended, she didn't keep playing Street Fighter, but fast forward to now, Street Fighter 6 is out and it's amazing. And I wrote a review on it and obviously she wants to play it. So she decides to play it and she picks Honda, which is really random, but I'm always telling people not to pick Ryu. So she didn't, she picked somebody else. Outside of like the pure Honda basics, like B&Bs, she just wants to play the game on her own. And this is what happened. Emma's placement games start off against a bronze Marissa. She doesn't like this matchup at all. Like in the Battle Hub, you can play lots of casual games and she did that a lot before playing ranked. Yeah, she doesn't like this matchup. Marissa has super armor attacks, which are really good against new players. And she's a new player, so she's getting blown up by them all the time. And it's a shame because she starts this game super well. Like she pressures the Marissa, before down to the corner, does anti airs like she's, she's busting her up. Drive attack, but a shame there's no punish, but like, yeah, she's playing really well and this is showing really good signs compared to her time in Street Fighter 5 where it was just like she played like a bronze player she's not playing like a bronze player now but she's losing to a bronze player which is a shame she ends up losing this whole set 2-0 again bad matchup and there's nerves as well so we'll just go to the next set this next game is against an Iron Jamie uh, character Emma has lots of experience playing because I play Jamie. I think this set is really interesting because this is an Iron Jamie and what I think they're playing actually quite well. She's just a class above and it really shows in the Street Fighter 5 videos where like she could lose to anybody. If, if they were jumping and just did roundhouse, she could potentially lose that game. That's not happening anymore. And this again, this guy's okay, honestly, for a Jamie player. I think they're doing quite well, but they are no match for Emma's E Honda. And there's one more thing that happens at the end of one of these rounds where like the Jamie goes for a drive rush and Emma insists that this is intentional, but she goes for a level three and it hits and she wins. And it's like, if this is intentional, this fool is definitely not iron or bronze, but <laughs> I just thought this was really cool. This next game is against a bronze Ken. I tell people not to pick Ryu as their first Street Fighter character. The same thing applies to Ken, even though Ken is fairly different from Ryu in this game. The problem with picking these characters is that everybody knows how to play them because they're so popular. And that applies to Ken. Everybody knows the matchup, right? Even Emma. So she just destroys this guy. Everything he goes for, he just gets punished. It's not a close game at all. So you know when like you're winning, you start to feel confident. It's funny because even Emma at this point has like backup tech that she's ready to like unleash. Look at this drive rush into command grab. Bruh, what are you doing? Like, come on, she's so good now. So Ken lands a level three, which is obviously a problem, but Emma still has lots of health and she lands her own level three and then wins the game. In fact, she wins the game so well that the guy doesn't want to rematch because He's a little baby. So she gets matched up again with another bronze Ken, but this guy has a lot more league points this time. And this Ken starts off really well. They know to try and force the opponent into the corner because you know, you just have an advantage that way. They spam drive rush a lot, but to be fair, it works. Like Emma isn't countering it properly. It's just a free move to use, you know? And I don't blame them for spamming it because it's working. <laughs> Um, Emma does well to defend in the corner to be fair, but this Ken is definitely putting on the pressure and it's hard, it's hard to escape it. To be fair, there's a reason why Ken has picked so much and this is the reason, right? <laughs> He's super strong. Emma does well though, like I feel like she could have won this game. There's a punish coming up where like this, I feel like she could have essentially won here but she just didn't have the right combo. And this Ken uses the drive rush again to win the game, which is unfortunate because a different punish combo and that could have gone the other way. 
Okay, so you know how this Ken has been spamming Drive Rush the entire time? Well, Emma's kind of like, you know, they're like, oh, fool me once, shame on me, oh, fool me twice, uh, <laughs> you can't fool me again, you know? Emma has finally taken enough Drive Rushes to the face to know how to counter it. She understands finally that I, if I just jump out of the way of the Drive Rush, I can't get hit by it. And she doesn't get hit by it. And look at that. She says that was intentional. She shimmied out of the way of his throw to punish it. Where did she even learn that? So as you can see, the game is starting to put some respect on the name and they send in a silver Kimberly. So right from the beginning, you can tell that the Kimberly is a class above anything we've seen from the past placement games. This Kimberly has combos, they've got setups, and it's not looking good for Emma at first. But you know what this Kimberly doesn't have? <laughs> Fucking Honda's damage. <laughs> This poor Kimberly got destroyed in the corner. Every attack just stuffed out by a poke. There's nothing they can do. And it's, they have such a life lead as well. And it's just like, nope, you don't have any life anymore. I'm just coming to take it away. If you ever fought Kimberly before, like fighting Kimberly for the first time is just rough, especially one that knows what they're actually doing. And the pressure can just seem relentless. Like. This Kimberly clearly knows what they're doing, but they're playing against Honda. I think the second round is interesting because it's clear Emma starts to identify Kimberly's teleport gimmicks. So you can see from Emma's Honda that there's a lot of empty attacks in hopes that Kimberly will just appear and get hit. And it's funny because that doesn't even end up winning her the game. It's just landing like clean attacks and headbutts is what does it, which I suppose that's how Honda usually wins, but yeah, it's Kimberly. Mm, fairly unlucky. So I'm just gonna skip around here because it, spoilers, but Emma doesn't lose a round against this Kimberly. And again, the Kimberly's really good, but I think we're finally starting to see that Emma is in fact really good. While the Kimberly has all these combos, they get punished at the right time. They get anti aired at the right time. It's like all the fundamentals that you need to be actually good at the game. Honda, well, Emma, knows them all, and that is exactly why she's winning. It's like, as Kimberly has loads of gimmicks and all, all these just fancy things, but that's not how you win Street Fighter. You win Street Fighter with great fundamentals like this, and it's like, yeah, know your punishes, know when to use super, know how to save your bar, and have super for when you need it, and it's like, Despite getting blasted by all these combos, she's got her own. And um, yeah, 2-0, no rounds lost. This is the final placement game against like a solidly platinum Manon who is absolutely like deserves to be in this rank. And it really shows this game. You could question whether or not Emma is like gold but then again this Manon's really good and she hadn't played Manon before either so for a first attempt at the matchup I think she did really well um spoilers she loses but like again this is a this is a hard matchup against somebody that's actually good at the game so they like these this character's landing command grabs they've got flashy attacks Emma hasn't even seen before um so the Manon does win this set which it, I don't know if they rematched. I don't think they rematched. Um, but these games are a lot closer than they have any right to be. Like for somebody that's not played this character before, it's this man and should have been sweating because on a rematch, I don't know. I don't think her points are safe to be honest. So the game ends and Street Fighter is like, all right, we're putting you in high gold with 12,000 LP, which I, I honestly think that's too high. Why is that too high? Because that's what I got with Jamie. So it's like, if, if I'm getting that with Jamie, why are you getting that? As someone that had to do fucking Zero to Hero series on Street Fighter V because you didn't know how to play the game, but now we're suddenly the same rank. <laughs> I don't think so. But that's what Street Fighter Six gave her. So this final match is just uh, Emma playing against my brother, which is why it's my username, but it's actually her. Um, 
So yeah, Evan hasn't played in like three weeks because our internet has been bad. But all you need to know is that she listened to my amazing advice and became very good. So what does that mean? Fucking watch episode one, study that shit. Because everything I say is gold. If you want to be the best, <laughs> just watch those episodes. Um, honestly though, like the fact that we can play together now is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, I'm still b winning like most of the time, but the fact that she can even take games off me, that was, that was the whole point of the series. Like, you know, um, while I may win most of the time, the fact that I don't win every time is all you can ask for, really. And um, again, that could be you. You could be the zero terror. You could be in gold with more points than you deserve, you know? So yeah, watch this video. Oh, don't watch this video. Watch episode one again, two and three. Tell your friends, because uh, they suck too. And they could be heroes.